Oh wow! Wow, you can see it from here! Oh my gosh! What is up, science team? As you can see, we're not in the Nikipedia lab. I'm actually in my hotel room because I'm in Canada working on a really big project, although I can't tell you about any details. I can't tell you anything about it, but I will in a few months. And I'll tell you this though, it's gonna be pretty cool. Today, however, is all about a mysterious flame that burns underneath of a waterfall, of all places. In order to investigate what's actually happening there, we have to go back into the United States to Buffalo, New York. But before we get into any science mysteries, I wanna say thank you to our sponsor, Visine, for making this video possible. Visine All Day Comfort Dry Eye Relief helps relieve dry eyes so we can focus on creating awesome science content not worrying about irritated eyes. Visine can play a crucial role in our production process, of which for the first time ever, we're gonna show you how we make our videos from beginning to end. We are currently in Hamilton, Ontario, which is basically Southern Toronto. And we have about an hour and a half drive to get to the trail that will lead us to Eternal Flame Falls. Uh, so Niagara Falls is on the way to Eternal Flame Falls. And so we decided to take a pit stop and check out Niagara Falls. Isn't that kind of like scary to look at? Niagara Falls is where Lake Erie flows into Lake Ontario and is over 10,000 years old. The Great Lakes make up the largest body of fresh water on the earth accounting for 20% of all the fresh water on the planet. The amount of water in the Great Lakes combined is six quadrillion gallons. My <laughs> girlfriend's still trying to look pretty in the screen. But I don't like being on camera, so. Well, whatever you are pretty? today. We are on our way to Eternal Flame Falls. We have about an hour and a half drive, so say goodbye to Canada temporarily. So we are one and a half hours outside of Hamilton and we have stumbled upon this, the Erie County Chestnut Ridge Eternal Flame Trail. We're uh, just at the start of the trail here. It's beautiful though, it's very cold. Taking lots of photos because these colors don't see every day in LA. It's time to go into the woods. I take this over a California hike any day. I think I can hear it. I think I can actually hear the falls. There's a little cliff over here. Oh wow. Is that it? There's, a, there's water down there at least. Wow, we're on a, it's a crazy cliff. Well, I think we at least discovered the water source. It's right down there. Haven't been on the trail that long, but I feel like we're about to get up on Eternal Flame Falls. The trail's getting a little rockier here. There's a lot of roots though, which is kind of nice, so you don't lose your grip. There's also these signs that point you in the right direction, so we've been following them from one, we're now to 13, trail keeps going. I don't think this is it. I hope not. All right team, we're getting really close. In front of me, there's a big waterfall. I can hear it. There's a little bit of blockage, but we're gonna get through this, through this stream, and then we're gonna see the Eternal Point Falls. Oh, wow! Wow, you can see it from here! Oh my gosh, that is so amazing! That really does take you by surprise, wow. You can see it in the distance, I mean, I'm, I'm probably 100 feet away. You can see it from here. It is so cool looking. I mean, it, it, it doesn't look like it should be there, but it is so awesome. There it is. There it is. All right, let's see if we can get closer. Wow, right up out of the ground. Eternal Flame Falls. It's real. It's a real thing. Come get a closer look. Is that really cool? Wow. I'm gonna go in closer. Um, that might be dangerous. you want to tell me? Sure. It's pretty slippery up here. Ah! 
<laughs> I'm getting soaked. Eternal Flame Falls is actually a natural gas seepage that's coming from the shale natural gas below our feet. And so it actually smells like natural gas. It smells like a barbecue that is lit and is just burning. And so because it's natural gas, which is a very clean source of gas, uh, we're gonna do what anybody would do if they stumbled upon a flame in the woods underneath the waterfall. And roast some marshmallows. <laughs> Smoosh it on. Okay, so one's really burnt. Not the best cook job ever. They got kind of wet going in, but uh, let's give them a taste test. <laughs> Very burnt. <laughs> Very burnt. Uh -huh. This is the Eternal Flame Fall of Upstate New York. And it is pretty awesome. So what's going on here? Well, in upstate New York, as well as many other regions of the eastern United States, there's natural gas trapped under layers of sedimentary rock called shale. Natural gas is a natural hydrocarbon that is mostly comprised of methane. It's formed when decaying animal and plant matter are exposed to intense heat and pressure under the Earth's surface over millions of years. The energy that the plants originally obtained from the sun is stored in the form of chemical bonds in the gas. So basically, natural gas is plant energy 2.0. In this particular spot, there's an opening in the shale that goes from the surface all the way to a reservoir of natural gas somewhere deep underground. Sometime back on a date that no one really knows, the flame was lit and continues to burn, even under a waterfall. Now the flame actually has been known to go out. However, so many tourists visit this spot that if it does go out, they just light it back up. Hence the name, Eternal Flame Falls, because the tourists keep lighting the flame to make it eternal. Now, this is usually the part of the video where I give a recap. However, today, I wanna to do something totally different. I wanna show you exactly how we make our videos from beginning to end, and how Vising helps us stay focused on making awesome science videos. First, I sit down and write the episode on my computer with like a thousand tabs open doing all different kinds of research. Then we actually go out and shoot the video all while looking at the script on our phone screens. Once we've filmed everything, we go into what is known as post, which requires days of editing and staring at my computer screen. This is where Vising comes in. Because Vising All Day Comfort Dry Eye Relief contains ingredients found in our own natural tears, it helps moisturize and soothe dry eyes and allows us to keep going when we're finally feeling that creative juice. This means that we don't have to stop what we're doing just because our eyes are irritated from looking at screens all day long. Okay, so there we go. We found Eternal Flame Falls and we learned why it's there and why the flame keeps going. Mostly because tourists keep lighting the flame. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you really soon.